Greetings everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host Buddy Blackbird and today we're gonna go over using the swatches panel. Now it should be right next to the color panel if you didn't mess uh, around and move, remove it or anything like that. And it says swatches on it and if you don't have it go to a window and then come down here to swatches. So what swatches are is just a group of a bunch of different pre-picked colors and you can have the ability to create new swatches which is just a single color and you can create like certain groups of them and save them and just have like a recurring color palette for you to use when you're working on some design projects and things like that so like when you're working on like creating somebody a logo or something like that you can just have up in your swatches the three different colors that you're working with and be able to quickly choose between those so you don't have to keep on looking and um, using your um, eyedropper tool to keep on picking colors and everything like that. So what happens um, with these swatches is that right now you get, start, you get uh, loaded with a preset set of swatches and you can come up here and change them in, this, uh, in the options panel and then you have all these different um, types of swatches here and you can change the way that you view them so we got small thumbnail here's a large thumbnail and then you got your list here which tells you the names of all the different color swatches and then you can see now how they are listed and what they uh, are like or uh, what they are used for so when you go to the small thumbnail you're kinda wondering why there's some of the same colors and things like that but you can see that in the list that some of them are RGB blue and one of them is the CMYK blue and pretty much you get a whole bunch of different things here's some pastels and lights and everything like that sorry if I was going too fast through those but um, you can come down here to um, check out or get different colors so if I come down to like solid coated Pantone or something like that you can hit append to add new or to add them to your current list of swatches so if I hit append I've gotten a new set of colors here and um, to be able to uh, delete them you can click on a swatch so if I click on this one it turns into a hand if I click and hold and then I can bring it down to the to the trash can here and then that'll delete it or if I hold all you can see that the um, the icon turned into like a pair of scissors and I can just start clicking on things and it'll delete them like that so holding all is the faster way you can add single swatches by going to your color panel go ahead and pick a color anything I'll just stick with like bright red for right now and if I hit this um, like the new button it's it's uh, the create a new swatch from your foreground color button and there I go and you can name it and then it'll create it there for you so I'll just name this super red or something like that and hit OK and it puts it right down at the bottom let's cut that out because it doesn't need to be there and um, you can go ahead and if you start adding way too many swatches and everything you can go ahead and like reset that by going up to the panel here are the options reset swatches replace the current swatches with the default colors hit OK and save changes to the current swatches no and then you got your basic ones that you had there all uh, at the beginning so that's uh, how you do that you're able to um, create your own sets so if I wanted to just um, get rid of these Let's get rid of these swatches so many of them I'll just pause it real so I got rid of everything on there uh, I'll go ahead and just select a color we'll just go black there's one this is black and then I'll just select another color should have just stayed on red the first time red okay now I'm basically building up my color swatches here then I could go ahead and save these if I wanted to 
and it goes automatically to your color swatches folder and I could save that as red and black save so I'll do something like uh, reset real quick and then we can um, load up your swatches that you had there load and they'll come into into the play there so they append when you load just so you know another quick way that you can add uh, swatches is uh, just move into a gray area on your um, photo sh on your swatches panel below all the colors and it turns into the paint bucket if you click on it you're able to just add a swatch quickly which is pretty cool now let me look into the options panel and see if there's anything else to go over um, you can go to close to close out the uh, swatches panel which I probably didn't need to show it's probably self-explanatory and um, you can oh you can go ahead and replace everything if you don't want every if you don't want the uh, swatches to a, a pen by loading you can replace everything and hit load that way you don't have all the default colors so I didn't have any uh, swatches pre-made so I had to del delete them all by hand and then um, and then add these in before after I had the uh, swatches made so thanks for that's gonna be the end of this tutorial so thanks for watching this one and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and learned a little bit about the swatches panel thanks everybody have a good day